didn't see you there. I can't believe it's already time for Sunday school. And as you guys can see, I'm having a nice cup of coffee and I'm sitting in my kitchen. And that's because today we're going to have a completely different lesson today. Because today we're going to do an object lesson. And I'm so excited because we've never done an object lesson here at Father's Heart Kids. So if you're not, not sure what an uh, object lesson is, an object lesson is basically when you take everyday things like maybe a cup or a book or anything like that and then you take it and change it so you can understand the Bible better. So I'm super excited for that. But don't worry, we'll still have our Bible stories, but we just want to have something different for you guys. And another surprise that we have today is we're going to have a special guest. So let's not wait any further. Let's get started with our lesson. So guys, our special guest of today is my husband, John. Hello, everybody. And now he's going to help us with today's object lesson. So you guys might know him from the big church. He usually does the praise and worship. But for today, we're going to steal him so he can help us with our object lesson and make it as fun as possible. So uh, today's object lesson is going to be all about giving and being a cheerful giver. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So there's a few things that we're going to use for this object lesson. And the first thing we have here is this blue cup. And this blue cup now, guys, is going to represent God's blessings. I'm going to ask our Uncle John now to put the words God's blessings on this cup so we can remember what it now stands for. There we go. Okay, blue cup, God's blessings. Okay, then next, guys, we have this see-through coffee mug. You can see right through it and you can see there's actually something in it. And this cup is now going to represent me. Yeah, it's going to represent Uncle John. Okay, and inside here is some of the blessings he has. So it can be different kind of things, but in this cup, it's his blessings. So I know there's not a lot and it's not full, but we'll, we'll see what happens with it. Maybe. There we go. Uncle John and his blessings. Now, the last cup we have here is another see-through cup. And guys, guess what? This cup is specially for you. Okay, so we're going to put the word you on it so you can remember this cup is for you. Now, unfortunately, it's empty, but we're going to work on it. Don't worry, we're going to work on it. There we go. You. Okay, so what we're going to do to fix now this problem because you guys on our empty, you don't have any blessings in your cup, is we're going to go and ask Uncle John, please, to share some of his blessings with you guys. But, gee, I don't really have much in my cup. So if I share with them, then I'm not going to have any. But at least you have something. I mean, their cup is empty and you still have something. So just share with them, man. But it's not enough. Like, I don't have enough. I, I literally just have enough for me. So if I take some of mine and I share it with them, then I'm not going to have enough. But God loves a cheerful giver. So don't worry about it. I'm pretty sure somewhere in the Bible, it says that you shouldn't give your last bit to someone else because then you're not going to have. Let's check it out. It doesn't say that. Okay, okay. Then I'm pretty sure there's a scripture in that big Bible that uh, says God wants me to be happy and I'm very happy by having enough for me. Yeah, the Bible doesn't say that. The Bible actually tells us to be a cheerful giver and share with others. Hmm, I don't think so. What are you doing? I'm <laughs> holding my stuff for myself. So you're just going to have now closed heart and closed hands towards the kids. I mean, have a heart. I am. I'm going to help them. I'm going to... You are? Yes, I'm going to go with them and we're going to find someone to give them a blessing. But what if you need to be the blessing in their life? But am I not a blessing by helping them find a blessing? No, that's not how it works. Oh. But 
No, I still... I don't think so. So, okay. What if I tell you this whole scenario? So as we can see, your hands are closed. Mm -hmm. Your heart is clearly closed towards them. So you're not going to share your blessings with them. Mm -mm. Now, what if God wants to come with his blessings and share it with you? But now your hands are closed. So now he's trying to pour some of his blessings into your cup. But he can't. No. It's just wasting. Exactly. And that's a big problem because if you have a closed heart and closed hands, God can't pour his blessings into your life. But don't worry. Don't worry and worry where is your next blessing going to come from and you don't have enough. Because the Bible actually teaches us what you sow, you will reap. So if you're going to sow in their life, you will reap in your life. It's the same as that Bible verse that says, do unto others what you want done to yourself. So if you are nice to other people, you will receive nice things back. And if you bless other people, you will receive blessings back. So just trust God and have a little bit of faith and share with them. Okay, guys, I, I hear this and I'm actually quite excited now to give because I think God's word is quite clear that I should be cheerful. And I should share with you guys. So, I think let's give it a go. Yay! Oh, guys, I am so proud of Uncle John. He now shared with you guys. And look at this. Now you guys also have something in your cup. And your cup isn't empty. Now, I know it doesn't seem like a lot that he shared with you. But remember, he doesn't have a lot himself. So by just sharing this, he actually shared a lot with you guys. But now here's the amazing thing. Look, your hands are not over your cup anymore. Your no. heart is open. Your hands are open. And this is the amazing thing that can happen. Because Uncle John is not concentrating on what little he has and he doesn't want to share. And his mind is just on, I want to be a cheerful giver and I want to help other people. This is where God can come in and like pour all his blessings over Uncle John. And this is the amazing thing that happens. Wow, guys. Look at this. Look what's happening. That's so awesome. So you see, guys, John didn't have to worry at all about how much he has or how little he has. Because when God pours his blessing in, into you, you're definitely going to overflow. Isn't that wow. so amazing? And that actually brings me to an amazing Bible verse and what this all means now. And we can now actually find it, guys, in 2 Corinthians 9, verse 6 to 8. And it says, remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. You must each decide in your heart how much to give. And don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure, for God loves a person who gives cheerfully. And God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. So you see, that's exactly what happened here. So I know when Uncle John shared a little bit of his blessings with you guys, it looked like oh, it's just a little bit. But in his heart, he was being generous because I know it doesn't seem like a, a lot. But to Uncle John, sharing that little bit that he has with you guys, that was a lot for him. So he gave generously to you guys and look what happened. That opened the door so that God can pour his blessings into us. And when God blesses us, it, it's like this Bible verse says, you will have plenty left over to share with others. So how amazing is that? Uncle John was scared that he wouldn't have enough for himself and so he won't be able to bless you guys. But now he took a step in faith and look now, his cup is full. It's overflowing. He had so much left over. He could share with you guys. Your cup is even overflowing. And now Uncle John is also being a blessing to other people because he just took that step of faith. That is so amazing. 
I am in the mood just to go and give some more then. <laughs> it's really awesome. And it actually also reminds me of our other Bible verse we had when we're now seeing these cups overflow. And I'm sure you guys can remember it because it's in Psalm 23. And I'm sure you guys remember it because we memorize that scripture a lot. And now it is in verse 5 where it says, You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Isn't that so amazing, guys? And that's what we want in our life. We don't really want to just have a little bit and struggle. And we want, we all want these cups that overflow. But sometimes we don't really have those cups that overflow. And that's where God can now see what our hearts are are like and when we even share the little bit that we have even if it's not money and it's maybe food or toys or anything that you can share with others and you do it with a cheerful heart then God can pour his blessings into us and we can overflow with blessings and have more than enough for ourselves and for others wow guys this is really so cool I've learned such a big lesson today I've learned that just from me opening my heart and opening my hands and sharing with you guys, God was able to bless me. So I've overflown, I have more than enough, and you guys have more than enough. It's just so cool. But speaking about overflowing, did you check your cup actually has this scripture of overflowing on when you drank your coffee? What? Really? Oh, how cool is that, guys? My coffee cup of this morning has our scripture on it. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. I hope you guys can see it. The sun is shining a little bit in our kitchen this morning. But it's super cool. Guys, I just think that is this lesson is now meant to be. Definitely. But talking about coffee makes me in the mood for some more coffee. So I'm going to have some. Would you like some? Yes, please. I'm going to go make us some coffee, but I'll definitely see you guys again sometime. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Wow, guys. That was really such a fun object lesson. And I'm really happy we did our very first object lesson here at Father's Heart Kids. And I must say, I really learned a lot today. And I hope you guys learned also some new things. Because I know I did. And I learned that it doesn't matter how little bit you have. But you should rather just share the little bit you have with other people. Because if you don't and you just concentrate on the little bit you have and you just want to have a closed heart and closed hands like Uncle John was at first, then God's not going to be able to bless you with more. But if you just let go and you open your heart and you open your hands and you trust God and you share the little bit that you have with others, then that gives God the opportunity to pour his blessings into your life. And when he does that, we've seen now, you're not just going to have a little bit left. You can have so much of blessings that you're not even going to have any lack. You're going to have more than enough. Your cup's going to overflow with blessings so that you can even bless other people more and more. So what I want us now to do this week is really to... Start being more generous, okay? And not worry about what you have and what you don't have. And then I have another challenge for you guys. I want you guys now to do the same object lesson that we did here today with somebody else. So you can either do it with some family members or you can do it with friends or whoever you can think of that obviously didn't see it with you today. And you're going to have to present this whole lesson to them. Because here's the thing, guys, the kingdom of God is not just about hearing the word of God and just listening to it, but it's also about sharing it with others. And trust me, guys, sharing the word of God with other people is so much fun. I mean, just look how much fun I have every Sunday with you guys. It's really so much fun. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you guys how to make this object lesson and how to make everything bubble up and what ingredients you need and everything that you would need for this object lesson. And then we're also going to send to you guys a PDF that you guys can now print. And on that PDF, 
will be now the Bible verses we read from. And also, if you don't remember everything from the video, all the ingredients and everything you would need. And then I want to challenge you guys then to do this object lesson with somebody else that hasn't seen it before. So they can also learn what it's all about and what it is to be a cheerful giver and not to also worry about the little they have, but also just to be generous so that they too can open their hands and open their hearts to others so that God can be a blessing in their lives and pour his blessings into their lives. Okay, so let's see now how to make this object lesson. So guys, firstly what you're going to need is a nice big cup like this one or any one you like as long as it stands out. Next you then need also two mugs and you can use any mugs you like. I just use the glass one so you can easily see the experiment. Then you need some spoons because we're going to stir some things up guys. Then we're going to use some liquid dishwashing soap. And we also need guys some hydrogen peroxide and this you can get at your local chemist so don't worry it's very accessible and then some food coloring guys so I use the color blue but you can use any color you want but please be careful of your fingers it gets everywhere and then lastly guys what we need is a packet of yeast that you can easily find in the shops okay so let's start with step one so you're gonna take your cup and your yeast and you're gonna mix it together so firstly we need some warm water so I already boiled the kettle but then I let the water cool down so just use warm water and not boiling water and put some warm water in your cup about this much and I'll put the exact amounts on the screen as well as on your PDF then we're gonna cut open our packet of yeast and we're gonna use the entire packet and mix it now together with the warm water Now guys, to mix it up, we're going to use our spoons. So I know I have two spoons over there and you'll see in a while why we need two spoons. So when you start stirring it, it gets quite sticky and it gets all over. So we need to make sure it is like stirred in very well and mixed well with the water. So once it gets sticky, you can use your other spoon and just scrape it off the spoon and make sure it's mixed in there well. Okay guys, and that was now step one. Very easy. So now we can put this aside. Next, we're going to need now our mug. Just one of our mugs. And then we're going to use our hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so you're just going to throw about a quarter of a cup um, of hydrogen peroxide into the cup. And then next, guys, we're going to take our food coloring. But please wear some gloves. Ask a grown-up to help you with the food coloring. Because really, like I said, it gets everywhere. And it's going to stain your hands just like it stained my hands. So please wear gloves. Ask a grown-up to help you. And not a grown-up clearly like me because I got it all over me. And here in the video, you can see I got it all over my hands again. And then for some reason, I decided just to put it all over my hands. <laughs> don't, don't do that, guys. Please don't do that. Then we're going to take our dishwashing liquid. And we're just going to do one squirt into the mug. And then we're going to take now all of those and we're going to mix it all together. And then I just used a clean spoon to make sure that everything is nicely mixed with each other. Awesome guys, and now it's time for experiments. So you're going to take your other mug and you're going to place the one above the other. And then we're going to take our mug full of God's blessings. And we're 
we're gonna pour it in. And how awesome is that guys? Such a simple and easy experiment. So guys, please make sure to download the PDF that will show you exactly what ingredients you need and how much of each you need and enjoy this experiment. And that is it guys. It was so easy now to make this object lesson. So I really want to challenge you guys to try your best to present this lesson to some family member or maybe some of your friends that haven't seen the lesson so they can also learn what it means to give and what the principles are around it. So, and if you do share it with somebody and you're gonna do this object lesson, please take some photos and send it in to me and share with me how it went because I would love to hear from you guys. Then guys, I also want to remind you, please don't forget next week's lesson. Next week, we're now going to continue with our Bible stories. And I'm super excited because next week's story is going to really tie in with this week's lesson of our object lesson. And it's going to be a lot like how Uncle John struggled because he only had a little bit and he didn't want to share the little bit he had because he felt like it wasn't enough. And next week in our Bible story, we're going to have a lady that has the same struggle. But I don't want to give everything away. I just want to ask you guys to not miss it because it's really going to be awesome. And then we're going to learn more about what it is to give and how can we give. Because I know some of us have the question, but I don't have a job and... I don't, I don't have money to give to people. So next week, we're going to talk about that and how we can be a blessing and what we can give to others. So please don't miss it. So guys, before we now go, let's quickly close our eyes and then we end today's lesson in prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for this amazing object lesson of today. Please help us to, from now on, always be cheerful givers. And Lord, the next time when we have the opportunity to give to someone else and we think to ourselves, but we only have a little bit, please, Lord, guide us through it and remind us of this lesson that it doesn't matter how little we have and to just give in any ways, Lord, so that our hearts are open and our hands are open to others. And with doing that, we want to thank you, Lord, that when we are in that position, that you pour your blessings into our lives so that it can overflow in our lives and that we can be blessings to others. So God, please just guide us in this week to come and just keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray this and we all say Amen. So guys, I really just want to thank you for joining in today's lesson. I can't wait to have more object lessons with you guys because this was just so much fun and I really enjoyed this very laid back lesson in my kitchen and just enjoying this time with you guys. So see you guys next week and have a great week. Bye everyone.